Broke up with my ex with a romantic poem. <clears throat> Roses are red, violets are blue, garbage is dumped, and so are you. Hey! Hey, you're listening to Babes and Bad Decisions podcast. We're babes, we make bad decisions, and we're here to tell you about them. My name's Elena. I'm Charlotte. And I'm Emily. And <laughs> mm-hmm. I yep. always forget that I need to be the one to talk. Okay. We've only That's been doing fine. this for like 11 episodes. episodes. It's going to be 30 well, seconds of silence 11. after. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. 11 episodes. Um, okay, so this Wait, week. this is 11? Yeah. Double digits, oh, baby. I labeled my game wrong? We have this conversation. Like it matters. Every anyway. Time. <laughs> anyway. Back. So this is like kind of part two to last week's episode. Um, if you listened, last week was about um, cheating and gaslighting. So here is the culmination of those things. We have breakups. Dun, the dun, end. Dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh joy. Oh joy. Juicy. You guys ready? No. Honestly, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's fucking go. Yeah. So first up, what ended your last relationship? So much. <laughs> <laughs> like, Correct. So much. I wish it was just a. Uh, uh, like. <clears throat> oh, like he fucking cheated on me. <laughs> yeah, I looked at Elena and was like, <laughs> "See, oh. you think you wish it was that?" I told See, Emily the same yes, thing. I. She was like, "Oh, I wish he had cheated on me," and I was like. Mm, be careful what no, you wish i for. said i said i wish he would hurt me so that i can just end it and have like well, yeah, a reason did. to finally end it and she goes be careful what you wish for and then i said well i got I think hurt I, exactly i was like i was like i feel like you think it's gonna make it really simple and easy for you but it's actually just gonna make it more complicated and, and then it happened and she was like damn yeah i was like <laughs> damn, daniel i was like elena i'm so sorry that was so <laughs> shitty of me to say to you no nah, it's good it's good it's, it's fine true. so yeah charlotte why did your last relationship end Hit us with the bullet points. <laughs> it was fucking toxic. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, true. I just became a paranoid bitch, honestly, and he became a controlling, psychotic person. And those two just never go together. No. Those are good bullets. Like, I just constantly <laughs> felt like I was being lied to, <laughs> and I lost his trust, and he lost my trust. So mm-hmm. we were just questioning each other about everything at the end of the day, and, like, taking a crazy bitch and a controlling freak. It just, was a it toxic just never, relationship. Yeah, we kind of just hit a point where we were like, this is not working out. Let's take a break. And then we... Um, <clears throat> and they never officially broke up. They just we took never a break broke. and never got <laughs> and back And then just together. never got back together. <laughs> it's kind of still up in because the air. Because things just never got better. Yeah. You know? That's no, facts. They, I, honestly... I th- anyway, next question. <laughs> Emily? Oh, um. so my last relationship, we were <laughs> long distance... just going to ask a question. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm going to no. answer. Surprisingly. Um... Yeah, we were long distance and it was like literally everything was complicated on his end and I guess kind of my end, but it was just like so unnecessarily complicated for what it was supposed to be. Like it was supposed yeah. to be some low key relationship and then like we were both like, fuck it, this sucks. Like we're literally fighting all the time. Let's just not do that. Yeah. And then we ended it. And it was chill. And it was chill. <laughs> Elena? What ended your last relationship? I already did. I already said it. Oh, you she did. Oh. oh, yeah. He pretty, cheated on me. Yeah, it was pretty yes. simple. I mean, pretty there were other things that were bad, but like that was the that was the nail in the coffin. It was yeah. the cherry on top. Yeah. All right. Who initiated the breakup? Me. <clears throat> well, I guess you could say him because he did the cheating. But, <laughs> but me. Savage. <laughs> <laughs> um, I definitely triggered it. And then he took control and was like, yeah this is when we take a break because yeah. i said a lot of fucked up shit so and did then he. <laughs> yeah <laughs> then he did so yeah. yeah what about you em um he initiated the conversation of like this sucks why are we fighting so much right and i was like i don't know and it was like a mutual like yeah this is more complicated than it needs to be so he initiated it but like it was pretty mutual yeah um so how did you or how did they well i guess we all anyway how did you break up with your ex a little like details yeah hit me with it okay i love this story um <laughs> back in 1987 yeah. not because you got hurt no just because no, no, i no, fucking I get it. hate him i get it <laughs> <laughs> i kind of like the story too because it feels very like dramatic and i whatever. love it love drama it was i was terrified mostly because wait let Emily her tell the fun. story <laughs> okay. and then we can tell our side of it I was I'll just tell, tell the, I'll just tell the breakup part. Yeah. So basically, he was out of town. So he had two phones because he had recently made the switch from iPhone to Android, which 
which is dumb. disgusting. That was red flag <laughs> <laughs> number I'm one. I'm telling you right now. I'm if he's an it, android, flag, break up with him. <laughs> um, so he like he still had his iPhone, but he didn't like use it, use it. Um, but it was still like synced up. So he was gone, and I come home from class, and I sit on the couch, and his phone is in the couch, and I like pick it up to move it. And I see, like, this girl's name that he should not have been talking to because of previous issues. And so I was like, hmm, interesting. Um, And so I decided to do a little bit of snooping because of previous issues. Like anyone would. No. Because of of previous issues, there was, I I decided to snoop. Whose nudes he had saved on his phone? Correct. Mm, Correct. Yeah, that's the one. So, yeah, I decided to (laughs) investigate. Um... And basically, I found out that I found like text messages between him and two other women insinuating that there had been something that happened. And so then I called him like fucking pissed off. And I was like, you know, care to tell me what the fuck what happened? <laughs> care to share? Care to share some something with me? Um, Let's gather around the table and, and talk about this. And so he did. And he was like, well, I only kissed them. Like, I didn't have sex with them, which is irrelevant. But like, whatever. Um, and <laughs> like, that would make it yeah, better. Yeah, literally. <laughs> And, um, and yeah, basically I yelled at him and, and gave him everything that I should have given him for years, like Mm -hmm. verbally. Um, and then I was like, yeah, I'm not, I can't do this anymore. Like when you get back in a couple days, we'll have a conversation, but like we're breaking up. I'm not doing this. And that was it. Yes. Lovely. (laughs) Um, Um, Char. Mine was a spring break of my freshman year and I was home in New York he had gotten a hotel for us. We went out for dinner. Um, one of the nights we were in the city, he went, he, he was basically hanging out with like his guy friend and I went to go see my girlfriends. So I assumed that it was guys night. So they did their thing. I did my thing. And when I was on the train home, I saw like a bunch of pictures of him with some of his close girlfriends that I had known and also like other girls and i'm like what the fuck is going on Mm -hmm. like why would you tell me it's guys night and then i see you all over fucking social media snapchat instagram with all of these girls and your buddies at this club at this concert and you don't even like tell me Mm -hmm. so then i go into fucking psych psycho mode like sicko mode but better (laughs) yeah so i just basically fucking ripped him to shreds said a lot of shit that like was built up i guess and used this little cherry on top of our toxic relationship as the time to break everything out uh he didn't respond until the morning and he basically responded like that we're not we're not ourselves we need to take a hot break and honestly i i tried to fight it but i look back and you know what someone had to say it Mm -hmm. so sucks but you know what it's probably for the best so definitely. it's definitely for here the we best. are definitely for the best. <laughs> it's absolutely for the best <laughs> don't worry if i don't think it is these two do so yeah. that's all that matters, we got it's all that matters. <laughs> um yeah so the way my last breakup went is i was coming up to tallahassee i was living in orlando at the time and i was going up there for elena's 21st birthday and it was like thursday evening and i was pissed at him because i what's had, new what nothing what's new <laughs> and I, I was supposed to be staying with him but he was like oh my friends are coming up so I'm gonna go stay with them you're not staying with me and I was like cool love this <laughs> fuck you Good and for so me. he like facetimed me and he was like to be honest like I'm kind of sick of this and I was like thank god <laughs> I was like I am too why the fuck are we always fighting like this is so unnecessary yeah so we were both like, let's just be done. And I was like, awesome. But also, I'm coming up there and we're fucking this weekend because I was promised dick and I'm getting dick. And he Fair. was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, can't I say wish, no to that. I wish yeah, I can't say like no to that. that. <laughs> and um, yeah, that was that was the end of it. Uh, but I, I do have to say, like coming back to reality, <laughs> I wish I... <laughs> I mean, like, I did get dick after we... I was going to say. I, yeah, I'm for say a I year and a half. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway. As it continues. <laughs> no, I meant, like, the next day I was seeing him because I had left all of my bags at his friend's apartment. 
So I had to drag my sorry little mopey ass into the city <laughs> to get my damn bags. And this bitch wouldn't even see me. Like, he left my bags I in the him. lobby. I hate him. And he yeah. didn't answer any of my texts. Charlotte. Left my bags in the lobby. The only thing, the only way I knew that my bags were in the lobby was because he was texting my best friend who went into the city with me because she knew I was a wreck. Charlotte, this you do understand would- these are all the reasons why you should literally never he get back did- with him. Okay, right? let me tell <laughs> <laughs> Like, you're just giving us ammo. Like, you understand this, correct? <laughs> well, he's giving us ammo. But well, yes. He, no, oh she's relaying the ammo to us. Correct. I would be so curious to go back in time and see what would have happened if, like, I actually saw him in person that day. Because I was a fucking wreck. I would have sent bad. rumor my energy to you and you would have decked him in the face. We were both wrecks, so maybe it's for the best. Again. <laughs> anyway, I think he's a fucking pussy and let's move on. <laughs> You We're heard keeping it here first, in. folks. We're keeping that in. <laughs> I have it on tape. Oh, yes. I'm going to set that as my evidence. <laughs> um, so was it a surprise? Honestly, to- it kind of was because we've had fights like that. I, was it a surprise all the time. to him It was to a toxic you? relationship, like I say. So we had fights like that. I just think it was the breaking point. It was like the straw on the camel's back. It was like we were running out of ammo. We were running out of energy. So honestly, it was a shock. But when I look back, it really wasn't a shock. So was it? I think any breakup, any breakup, no matter if you think it's coming or not, is like when it actually happens. I think it's going to be a shock for anyone. Like when you found the pictures, it was probably a shock. When you he finally started the conversation with you and was like, "This isn't working out." You don't expect these things to happen. You just one day hope they will and then they do so <laughs> that was like it's not gonna be in like the fucking insightful. plan or like unless you're the clock <laughs> on wednesday <laughs> unless you're the one who's like planning on doing it no but honestly but on the last that, my last hold it off my main ex he i was like i have to end it on a thursday because if i end it on a tuesday <laughs> then i have to see him see him on thursday <laughs> thursday because we both rehearsed at the same time oh, so i was yeah. like if we break up on a thursday i have like five days until tuesday so until she i have really so she actually put it in the planner, planner. Yeah, yeah she had I that did, in the planner i didn't know what thursday it was gonna be but i knew it was gonna be on a thursday <laughs> she Damn. had it narrowed down i did oh. <sighs> i know yeah. yeah mine was i mine was a surprise but similar to charlotte like there had it was been coming. things leading up to it where I had considered, you know, I started having the thoughts like, oh, should I break up with him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and like deep down, I knew that was the answer. But like that was the push that I needed to be like, all right, I'm fucking done with this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. No, Charlotte said it best. I agree. Um, So have you been? <laughs> Me then. <laughs> no, I mean. <laughs> Just stop talking. <laughs> kidding. I'll take I'm it kidding, from your I'm kids. Kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> brings my close she goes yeah that was great but charlotte said it best yeah Yeah, we could just cut out what elena said that's fine we didn't need that (laughs) it's not worth your time (laughs) i'm sorry okay and we're actually back (laughs) you say that and then we're not i I say that so many times (laughs) okay have you been broken up with or done the breaking up more well said (laughs) i didn't know how to say it I, don't know, I guess I've done the breaking up more, which I've never really thought about. But um, mm-hmm. I would say um, I never. You done got two up. times. So is it one or is it two? Wait, <laughs> no, no, no. I did it the first time. Not this. Not the second time. Good 50-50. 50-50, oh. Yeah. Oh, with third the same one's guy. A, third one's gonna be a <laughs> fucking loop. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely broken up with other people more. I I've never been broken up with. Damn. Good for you, bitch. Wait, have you guys? Yeah. Did you not hear about my last relationship? You you broke up with him. You started it. No, I I triggered it, but I wasn't like, let's break up. No, he was the one that said, let's let's go on a break. Oh. So he he really did the breaking up. Like, Elena's ex triggered it, and then Elena did the breaking up. Oh, okay. But I wouldn't say that Elena's ex and I did the breaking up. Yeah. We just fucking torched the fire. Elena's ex did a lot more than you did. Yeah, no, that's That's 100% true. true. Yeah, he fucking took a (laughs) flamethrower. Yeah, Yeah, I was going to say. He had like a fucking... (laughs) Fucking tree. (laughs) Yeah, brush fire going. It's like when you put a forest fire on a a bonfire and it just... You know? (laughs) Yeah. It was a smoke signal. (laughs) Honestly, yeah. Get out now! (laughs) Get out now! It's either been mutual or I've broken up with the person. Yeah, 
I don't actually I don't think I've ever been broken up with honestly we're just too good for that now that I'm thinking about it knowing myself I don't think I could do the breaking up no you could I can't even get out of this yeah you absolutely could you could so what is the most that you've broken up with one person (laughs) (laughs) because I think I have you both beat oh I was gonna say I feel like this is a very specific question Um, for a specific person no Shar has similar Okay, experiences well, to me. we didn't get back together. We were just like hardcore friends with benefits. We've they never were like talking and then not talking and then we, fucking. We didn't, you were and acting talking, like you were in a relationship, and then, and then you were. were. Uh, mm, no, we weren't. We were not acting like we were in a relationship because I got. You were fighting else. like you were in a relationship. Well, we do that anyway. Don't even need a relationship to fight like that. Like that's just us. We've it's been not worth it if you're not getting benefits. Like fighting like that is not worth it. I was getting benefits. No, then. you're not. <laughs> not anymore, but. <laughs> <laughs> um well, but no we were we still haven't gotten back together since we took a broke bro- a broke a broke a broke bro- yep mm-hmm. i'm gonna leave it at that <laughs> what about you em how many is it like five six no. seven <sighs> three or like 30 i lost no. track <laughs> no 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 three because it was the initial thing and then we were decide then we decided to be on a break and then we broke up before winter break and then we got Get back it? together winter after break. winter break oh, shut up and then we got back together, and then we officially broke up in, like, f- March or February. So, three. Okay. And you're going to stop do that, there, guys. right? Don't do, do what that, I, do, do as I do, or do as I say, not as I do. Yes. No, I can't emphasize it. Please don't do what we do. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. we make the bad decisions. Yeah, let so us. So, you don't have to. It's like yeah, a whole tagline. <laughs> I will tell you. It's like mm. the whole point of the podcast. Like, you may feel uh. good in that one moment, and then... It's like, if you're not, it's if you, fleeting. it's gone. Yeah. You can't, it's if beautiful. you don't figure it out after getting back together and breaking up multiple times, like if you don't get to the root of the problem and figure it out, like you're not going to, mm-hmm. you know, you know what I do appreciate though, is that my ex and I actually talk about like why we, it's weird. We finally have come to the point where we can talk about what was wrong how long has it taken it's taken about almost two years to oh, get to this point that's healthy but yeah we got here and let me tell you let me tell you i don't see why you're still talking up, to him it now. is not worth it just go on without knowing because you know what it's <laughs> doing nothing for me yeah. now <laughs> like knowing why you broke up with someone can cheers be good cheers for slut. cheers <laughs> jane um so how do you break up with somebody <laughs> uh, you guys elena there are many ways there's the angry breakup. Oh, yes. That's my favorite. Which is just yelling and then I'm done and you leave. There's the we sit down and we have a chat about it breakup. Correct. Which always ends in crying and Correct. like breakup sex. Um, there's the never talk to them again, disappear and move to a jungle breakup. Mm-hmm. Still working on that one. Wouldn't <laughs> recommend that one. but No, wouldn't. In that's severe just, circumstances. Yeah. There's no Wi-Fi in the jungle. But, yeah. Um. And there's the fake your own death breakup. And those are the four that I can think of. Change your name, dye your hair, and move to um, Russia. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the only weird one that I've had, and I talked about this briefly, but it was like, we stopped talking, but neither of us broke up with each other. And then I just called him and was like, hey, I'm breaking up with you. (laughs) And he was like, just so that's out there. (laughs) Um, And he was like, I don't even remember what he said. It was... You Not were like, I'm breaking up with you. And then you hung up and you were like, hey, so-and-so, you want to come over? <laughs> I didn't even have to have him come over. He was already there. That's, that's true. I talked about it. They know the yes, story. Yes, you did. You did. They know. They know. They know. They know. Shard, do you have any tips? <laughs> Since you're so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I should answer this question. Okay. I Emily? just haven't been able to do it. So. Uh, You've know. done it a I lot, think, apparently. I <laughs> At least four times. I've done it multiple different ways, yeah. too. I think, I don't know, I think the best thing is, unless something, like, really emotional happens, like they cheated on you or something, the best route to go is to, like, sit down and just talk to them and be like, here's why I want to break up, here's what I'm not getting, and, like, here's why I don't think we can fix this or I don't want to fix this. Yeah. You know? You just got to be honest, like... Yeah. It's going to hurt. It's going to suck. But like the closure, which we talked about before, closure isn't real. But (laughs) them coming back to you and being like, well, why? I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Like just at a certain point, you just have to be blunt and like not try to hurt their feelings, but just be like this. This is what it is. Yeah. 
Like, this is what I want for myself. I have to be selfish right now. Like, I'm sorry you're hurting, but this is what it is. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, what else can you do after that point? Yeah. I mean, like, even after I broke up with my last boyfriend, like, so I, we were on the phone and he was out of town and I said, like, when you come back, sorry, when you come back in a couple of days, like, we're going to sit down and have a talk. Um, so I had, like, a couple of days to process everything and I just had mm-hmm. things that I wanted to talk about and, like, get out there and get from him, etc. So we ended up having that kind of conversation where we sat down and talked everything out um and while there weren't like clear answers for everything and it didn't give me all the closure that I needed of course it definitely helped so if you can like if you're in a place to do that even if someone does something like cheat on you um I think it can be helpful in certain circumstances to still try and do that um and still try and like sit down with them and just have that conversation agreed and um like Elena said her ex was out of town when it happened so they called but i in I person say, is best yeah in person <laughs> is best i would say don't break up with them via text because no. even though writing out things at least for me is super helpful in collecting my thoughts and feelings into you know coherent sentences yeah i get that um if you need to like write it out and then go to them and you can like tell them from the things that you've written down the points that you want to hit um but texting them it's just that's just kind of shitty even yeah, if they were shitty, shitty to you also if they text you and try to break up with you like that don't do it like no <laughs> no don't don't do a, an immediate response save yourself from like your immediate emotions rather than your true emotions give yourself time to be like think about what's happened what what they're saying and just just don't immediately text because a lot of the times all my friends and when I've done it myself like you look back and it you you regret a lot of the things you said because it wasn't your true emotions or actually how you're feeling it was the text triggered you in the wrong way unless it was (laughs) (laughs) unless it was because you know because you know the way that I handled the initial phone call with my ex and the sit down conversation was very different but I don't you deserve to have that anger (laughs) And I think that's what I'm saying. Unless they deserve it, yeah, <laughs> then you're fine. Yeah, but if it's <laughs> that's like also a, true. Yes, a but I agree with you. Yeah, if, I just if don't if have the not control. Like a triggered breakup, then I would collect yourself. Yeah, and not for them, not for their sake, but for your sake. For your so sake, you can yeah. say everything you want to say. You don't leave anything out, and you have that time to like reflect on what you want to get out of that next conversation. Correct. Like, do everything for you. Don't do it for them on a happier note what's the worst breakup you've ever had Ooh, i've already talked about it <laughs> yeah oh is it oh it's that one yeah um i haven't had a really bad breakup honestly like I, i'm scared for Lucky you <laughs> one to come no actually it was great i don't regret but it but i think mine was pretty uh <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i talked to my ex about our breakup today because i um he stayed stop some- talking to him charlotte okay but or no, i'm gonna no. put him on blast <laughs> okay anyway the reason is because he's dated some crazy ass women in the past and i was curious how those breakups went Mm -hmm. because i talked to him i was like did i do something like outrageous or that i'm just blanking because a lot of the times if you do something crazy you don't want to admit it or think back to it so i asked him and he was like no it was it was a pretty civil breakup so um I hope all it's my probably breakups the civilest like that. breakup he's ever had. Yeah, probably because he wouldn't Seeing see you the next day. Seeing as he's a fucking psycho. <laughs> yeah, he probably <laughs> learned from his freaking first breakups not to see me. I'd be scared what he would say. Good. So, what about you, Em? Worst breakup? You have so many to choose from. <laughs> um, probably. I don't even. Well, this was part of the breakup like arc, but it, it wasn't like this happened and then we immediately broke up. But when I like found out that my main ex had slept with somebody else i was like looking for sharp objects <laughs> i you saw him went ready. over there no, she almost I, went over there i know no i saw his like yeah i talked about this in the past i knew he was that she was at his place i almost went over and caught him in the act but i didn't and um, honestly that kind of would have been legendary like it would have been bad i agree that you shouldn't have done it but it kind of would have been. <laughs> yeah. I would have been scarred forever, but we wouldn't have gotten back together at all had yeah. I gone over and seen it happening. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he 
he told me and I was at his place and I like started sobbing. I was like running away from him. I looked and I saw his knife block and I was like, should I grab a knife? Holy shit. Emily. I, just, I didn't. I didn't. That's so funny. Oh but I was like Lord. thinking about it. Not that I would hurt him, but just because he kept approaching me, trying to like hug me and being like, I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. And all I wanted to do was like not have him touch me. Yeah. So I was like, if I grab a knife, he won't come near yeah. me. Honestly, it was probably good that mine was not like person. there. Yeah. Yeah. Because I definitely like, I was like kicking walls and like throwing shit mm-hmm. and like. Yeah, there was, there was one, we, we tried to find closure with ours. And there was one, I'm actually also glad I, mine wasn't technically in person. And I actually, it does suck that he didn't see me, but I, I'm glad he didn't because there was one time where we actually tried to talk about it when it was too soon. And I just ended up like hitting him mm-hmm. and like pushing him. And mm-hmm. I was just like, you lose yourself when you have all these emotions raging through you. And like, you know, yeah. sometimes, sometimes it's for the best you don't see him because like, it's fucking rage. <laughs> Yeah, because Elena would have called us and we would have come over and we would have be- beaten the shit out of her ex. Trash's apartment. 100%. I already would have been doing it. You would have walked in and just joined Yeah, me. no, obviously. Oh, yeah. Of course. The We're only time. The only but I told I think- her. I told her to like, I was like, trash his, trash his Xbox. I was like, smash it. <laughs> smash his TV. I swear to God, throw his, like, break his phone. <laughs> I was egging her on. I was like, break his shit. Oh, I didn't need it. I mean, I appreciated it, but I yes, didn't need course. it. Yes, of course. I'm there for you, baby. <laughs> Always. I was already there. <laughs> true i was the soccer dad in that situation it's emily true, was definitely the mom like enforcing getting all of all the emotions out and i was just like okay are we done do we have everything like get in the car you okay. were like you're like i've packed the car we yep. have a cat tree i really did like, <laughs> <laughs> while like elena's Fucking like facts. vandalizing his apartment yeah Literally. we were like she, she was like do we have all of her clothes where's her phone charger and i was like wreck his shit <laughs> <laughs> i feel like I did just enough where I don't regret it, you know? Good. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I love you. I love you, too. I was there, too. <laughs> I love you, too, Char. Yeah, thanks for being the, like, cool-headed person <laughs> in that situation. So is there a common trait, like, between all of your breakups, all of your ended relationships? <laughs> They've all been toxic. <laughs> That's like, a good one. dead ass, though. <laughs> None of those men deserved me. <laughs> That's... <laughs> bars but all right is there a common trait in either why you broke up or how you broke up both were over the phone neither of which was actually a planned thing but both were over the phone uh that's true i didn't even think about that one was in person one was over the phone uh actually both of them i kind of like lost myself in both of them well, you were, they were both super toxic, so. Yeah, they were both too. So it's really easy to lose it yourself. It makes sense, so yeah. Kids, beware if it becomes toxic. <laughs> Abort. <Kids>. Abort. <laughs> yeah, I think mine were all because I lost interest, which sounds really shitty. It's no. the truth, though. But, like, no, it's the truth. All, all of my, you know, high school boyfriends, like, my most recent ex, and even kind of my main ex, there was some, there was something that caused me to lose interest. Mm-hmm. whether one of my high school exes i was only interested in when we were broken up because mm-hmm. he was flirting with other people and i got jealous yeah and then i was like i want him back and then i'd lose interest yeah and my most recent ex it was just got so complicated that i was so over it yeah so i think that's been the common denominator on why i've broken up with or why things have ended yeah what are your hard lines aka what will end a relationship for you obviously cheating yeah. Damn, I wish I knew this was a question. I would have fucking pulled but up the red receipts. Is, is there, are there any, do you have any, like, funny ones or any weird ones? Like, any, like, weird sex stuff? Like, oh. Like, if he asked me to, like, pee on him or something, I'd be like, oh, this isn't going to work out. Yes. I was very confused Ugh. by this question. Do you have any? Um, no. <laughs> good. Um, good. If he eats mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> what? If he eats What? Mayonnaise. mayonnaise mayonnaise if he that says mayonnaise so like that weirdly. charlotte no i'd say if he starts if if my significant other starts telling our shit to other people mm, i'm yeah. over it because that's not yeah i mean i've told shit to you guys but you guys don't count 
if not that, I'm talking to my friends about what's going on because I need advice, but spreading shit, saying yeah. that, oh, she's a psycho or, oh, she did this, that, and the other. Like, yeah. what happened that I talk about now on the podcast, obviously, him sleeping with somebody else, I didn't tell anybody. Like, I didn't even tell Charlotte and Elena until yeah. almost a month after it happened because I was ashamed and I didn't know what to do about it. Right. And... Like, I didn't go around spreading that. But if, if he had gone around spreading stuff like that, you know, not asking friends for advice, but just telling people about our business. Yeah. Then that's a line for me. Yeah. Because I'm like, there's a difference between asking for advice and spreading shit. And I'm not going to have that. Yeah. Or like telling me I can't do something. Like, I know oh so God. many people and your ex did this. Yep. Like, Oh, you're not allowed to drink. Oh, you're not allowed to smoke. Oh, you're not allowed to wear this. Oh, you you're not allowed me? to go out with these people. It was my freshman year, bitch. Yeah, I'm Elena, not kidding. if you had told me that he had said any of these things to you, I would have been like, Oh, not break mine. Up with him. No, mine. Oh. Hers. Oh, yes. Well, see, my roommate, um, she was graduating. She was taking grad pictures. And her boyfriend at the time was taking them with her and she was doing the whole thing where you know you shake up a bottle of champagne and you let it spray and you take cute pictures and they were on the fsu insignia and she shook it up and sprayed it and he looked at her and he goes don't do that she was like why the not? fuck <laughs> who the hell would yeah tell me no if I you will. try and like tell me what i can't, I literally can't be like do, leave that's yeah. a, that's a hard line for me not even my parents could tell me what i could and couldn't do correct they you're tried not, so hard you're not gonna tell me what i can and can't do <laughs> retweet yeah. yeah they tried so hard they did <laughs> they failed bless their hearts bless their hearts oh sweet paul hey paul love you <laughs> sandy too obviously sandy obviously but i talk about my love for her every day okay kind of switching gears can you break up with someone that you weren't officially in a relationship with i say oh. yes you can't break up you can end things but it's not like breaking up but it's yeah. the same thing to me ending yeah. things and breaking I mean, up yeah no i think when you say break up I assume that you were in a relationship with them. Like, I don't talk about, like, all of the guys that I've, like, hooked up with who I've ghosted or, like, but ended things See, with. that's different. I'm saying, like, my most recent ex, we were never in a labeled relationship, but we were exclusive. And I, and I, we broke up. Mm -hmm. We ended things. Yeah. But it was never, I never said, oh, this is my boyfriend. And he never called me his girlfriend. I think you, you know? can. I think it depends on the situation. But I think... Like, in that situation, yeah. yeah. So, I think you can. I think it's going to depend on, like, how serious of a thing it is. And I think it also just depends on, like, how the, like, quote-unquote breakup happens. Like, yeah. is it more of just, like, a fizzle out and you guys stop talking? Or is it more of, like, an actual, like, said thing? Correct. Yeah. No, no, no. I agree. If if things were... it was If it was a, a point was made to end things, then that's a breakup. But yeah. if things just fizzled out you guys stopped talking you guys stopped hooking up whatever then that's no that's, that's not so a like that i think there's like a such a fine line well there the is two. for sure yeah yeah every time i hear breakup i assume that you were in some sort of relationship if you were like yeah. hooking yeah. up or like relationships can have different levels though like i would say the guy i'm friends with benefits now if i see friends know, with benefits out, i would never attach with breaking yeah, up no it would i be would like never say things. that we broke up i would yeah. say oh we you know we ended things i stopped texting him whatever all right on to some on to some better things okay thank god what are your your best coping mechanisms i'm not talking episode five you know being alone after a relationship i'm talking post breakup pajamas movies you haven't left your bed in six days you've eaten six gallons of ice cream and your dog is crying because they just want you to move well, that pretty much covers I'm not it. talking from personal experience. yeah i was gonna say <laughs> damn em, that's pretty specific <laughs> vivid i can go into detail but i want to hear you guys first yeah i think um ice cream uh -huh. friends yeah uh staying busy mm -hmm. and cuddles with your cat and yeah. sometimes fucking other people that sometimes works mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. oh yeah we're gonna talk about that in a <laughs> minute to that 
I would say friends 100%. Every time I've gone through a fight or whatever, I've actually never done anything because I don't know what I want to do ever most of the time. <laughs> most of the time, I just want to turn all my lights off, crawl into a ball, and cry. Correct. But my friends don't let me do that. Correct. This is like whenever you have a fight with your boyfriend or you go through a breakup, this is like your friend's time to shine. Yes. Like this is the moment you've been training for. <laughs> this is your moment. This is <laughs> when we were all single at the same time. Yes, it was beautiful. That was it the was best. Fantastic. <laughs> But yeah, no, I think about when I broke up with my most recent ex and it was the next day I drove up to see you two Mm -hmm. and we went out for Elena's birthday and I was like, we were all so drunk in the bathroom of recess and I was like, fuck him. I love you guys (laughs) so much. It was a great moment. (laughs) I love that. It was a beautiful moment between the three of us. And I think distractions are the best thing. But with my main ex, I was depressed and i just didn't leave my bed i ate so much ice cream i watched a ton of movies yeah i was depressed depressed (laughs) but i think it's also good to like try and stay busy as as much as you can oh yeah Mm -hmm. no matter how much you want to crawl in a in a make it a goal to finish like a series in a night or something just so you just the last airbenders on netflix everybody um (laughs) started it that's so but no, all right, how disgusting. do we feel about subtweeting? What the hell is that? I feel like your grandmother. You don't know what subtweeting is? Excuse me? Charlotte. Okay, I don't have Twitter. All, well, I guess my mom listens to this, but so she doesn't know what subtweeting is. But it doesn't have to be on Twitter. It's essentially when you post something meant for someone, but you never say their name. You don't at them. <gasps> you know? The post on my if, Instagram, when it was good, it was bittersweet honey. Yeah. Or if, if you know, you post something like, I don't fuck with fake friends. And it's directed at somebody, but you never say their name. Call them out. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would usually recommend against it. Um, but it depends. I don't know. Would my thing where I went back and changed all the captions, does that <laughs> That count? was so funny. Wait, tell funny. the story. Wait, tell the... Tell oh, my God. Explain. That was so funny. Because okay. that's amazing. So, um... So on my Finsta, I had that's obviously... That's fake Insta, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. For sure. Grandma's the out there. <laughs> um... I had pictures, obviously, from, you know, the couple years that we had been together, and I, I don't know, I've never really been someone who's like, oh, I'm just going to delete every picture I have of them off my Instagram, like, that feels weird to me, so on that Instagram specifically, because it's like a close group of people that I allow to see it, I like Like went, (laughs) I like went back on all of my pictures of us together and changed the caption, basically, like, calling him out on his shit so like i would call him a cheater i'd say like it was there's one i remember and it was a picture of the two of you and you said um the weekend after this picture was taken he cheated on me with another girl yeah some shit or something like that i would basically like change the captions to tweak them just a little bit from what they had originally been to like call him out on it it was um, the it most was very fun. Sight. Fun. It was so entertaining scrolling through her really Finsta great. and being. Because <laughs> I had seen people do it on their real do Instagrams, but I was it? like, I don't think I want to do on that because I might regret it. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you should scroll through it later. Okay. I, I think did- I've only done it one time one with time. that picture. Yeah, I posted one picture and it was. I look good and I captioned it when it was good it was bittersweet honey from one last song by Sam Smith great song great song stream uh stream wavelength on <laughs> yeah stream on wavelength Spotify. by Acabells <laughs> Spotify um, Apple Music funny. <laughs> um, Amazon Music too anyway yeah. um, anyway and all all of my friends basically commented and was like I can't the say the eyes it, emoji. They were like they basically called out his nicknames that we made for him. So funny. Cuz he has a terrible last name that's very obvious that I'm not going to say. Um but yeah, it was pretty obvious that was directed at him. And yeah. you know what? I don't care. Yeah. A lot of my I only did it on my Finsta. I never <laughs> like especially tweeted or anything. Yeah. But speaking on that topic actually, of rebounds wait no no i want elena to read it read one of the ones she found read what oh okay well uh so like one of them was a valentine's day post so i changed it to happy valentine's day to my future man who won't cheat on me (laughs) and like for his birthday post it said hat borth with a bunch of emojis and then i just added on here's to another year where you won't cheat where you cheat on me (laughs) um 
shit like that and then there was one but it was like was every like, picture she literally like, every picture and i liked Savagery. every I, yeah like one was like psa boys like flowers too because i bought him flowers when he came home from like at the airport and then i put in parentheses but they will probably still cheat on you <laughs> so good like, it was all, all shit like that but literally on every single one of them so all right back to it speaking on that topic of sleeping with other people do rebounds actually work no <laughs> you seem so sure because i've tried it no <laughs> they can like if they, you they find a not great always. one good for you but the ones i have found just They're also i in fucked them too Tallahassee, florida no the problem was i fucked them too soon and then the other one was just a bad fuck and then correct mm. i think they can work i think going into it you have to be very clear to the person and with yourself about like why you're there yeah no so what makes a good rebound then is it just sex or is it like a relationship honestly it's I your mentality somewhere in between yeah i would say 100%. probably just sex especially if it's like really pretty fresh um i would say you know get what you need from the person in that relationship obviously again be upfront about why you're there and what you don't want out of it so that they're not um expecting something more but get what you need get the physical intimacy or whatever you're wanting or craving um, and then other than that, I would say take the time to work on yourself outside of all of that. <laughs> work on yourself. Get your good fuck and get out. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Another pair of sweatpants I will be buying. <laughs> <laughs> on the butt. On the butt. <laughs> no, I'd put it on the crotch. Oh, true. That's true. Fair. Right down the kidding, seam. But I'm glad you guys are all, all <laughs> <I'm> on board. <laughs> um, yeah, I agree. I actually I have a friend. He, he <laughs> labels himself you know, uh, a rebound king. He's been a rebound for a lot a of rebound? women. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Why would you want to be that? I don't know. I don't think... He didn't he, seem happy about it. He just seemed, you know, like it was a fact. Realistic. <laughs> realistic. Yeah, and he was saying, oh, well, this girl's been hitting me up. She's super flirty, but she, you know, just got out of a relationship, blah, blah, blah. He was telling me about it. And he... I said, oh, well, if it's too soon, you know, then maybe you should back off, but just let her know that you're around. He goes, oh, no, I've been rebounds for so many women and i was like he's oh, like i got included. it down <laughs> he does no and i felt kind of bad because <laughs> it doesn't last very long yeah <laughs> like but what is he getting out of that just like sex, other than sex, sex. like other than know, sex because he seems genuinely interested in them sometimes but then they kind of get what they need from him and move on that's Damn. so um, sad no it, it's it's my most recent ex so uh, <laughs> don't feel but so again <laughs> like if Wait. they're being upfront about it then like that's he knows yeah you well know? i don't think they're always upfront about it i think they just go in saying oh well i like the comfort from him or i like him and then they realize that they that don't that's want all they were more. trying to get yeah um do you guys have a amount of time that you think a rebound should last because i think it should really only be a couple months max you know, get that physical intimacy, you know, process your shit and then and then move on. I don't like go out looking for a rebound like on my Tinder bio. Hey, guys, no. just looking for, here a, rebound for a rebound here. <laughs> I mean, it's better to be up front, right? Timelines about uh, I mean, four weeks. So you got to. Uh, yeah, but whether that much time. I, I feel like that's the worst m- mentality to go into it with. Like, oh, I'm just looking for a rebound here because y- you might be selling no. your short out of something that could i'm saying if you realize that you're using this person for a rebound then i would only stick with them for a couple months because you went into that unemotion emotionally unavailable you know correct so after a couple months a month or two you know whatever you're not gonna all of a sudden become emotionally available to this person that you've completely shut yourself off from yeah you know so you've already started on the wrong foot so use them well, not in a shitty way, but, you know, do, do what you need to do and then be done and move on because you've already Although, started emotionally I, know, I can't really talk because I was pretty emotionally closed off to my boyfriend now and then that changed. <laughs> yeah, I just like, I hate this. Uh, I, I don't know. Rebound in my mind is just like, at, at the end of the day, I don't, I don't think it's worth it because like, yes, you could get a nice fuck out of them, but you're still, once you leave their house, you're still left with the same problem. 
like yeah but that's that's that one fuck yourself. is not gonna make you forget about your ex or like how you feel about well, them and that's yeah, the thing that's, that's very that's important true, that's true. though i think in terms of going into a rebound you need to be <sighs> prepared yes I, you need to be honest with yourself and you need to make sure it's hard to say this because you just came out of a relationship you're probably not in a super great place but you need to be um like okay going into it knowing what you want out of it Mm -hmm. Like, if you are going into the rebound to try and, like, make yourself forget about things or for those types of reasons, then I think it can be super problematic. But if you're going into it with a pretty, like, centered mindset, then I think it can be okay. Yeah. Um, I'd say treat a rebound as a fuck buddy. Yeah, for sure. Someone that you're just, you guys are using each other for that physical intimacy and then separate from that person then you can process your emotions and your feelings and all of that. But don't yeah. try to use your rebound as someone who will fix you yeah. or help you forget because you're not going to yeah. forget. And don't take any of your like relationship shit into it. Like for exactly. me with my last one, I like, I didn't talk about him. I didn't like to my, the guy I was with, like I didn't talk about my ex. I didn't talk about the fact that I was just out of a relationship. I didn't talk about what I was going through. I didn't talk about the fact that I was sad. Like, yeah, that's not what they're there for. Right, because that's not what I was interested in in discussing. <laughs> like I didn't. But Elena, in all of these things, Elena is this very special case. We talked about this true, in the yeah. dating apps episode. We talked about this before, I'm sure. But Elena is an outlier, the exception, <laughs> not the rule. <laughs> yes, exactly. But I think, like, you can take from it. Just try and be really honest with yourself, and just think about everything. Why am I doing this? What am I trying to get out of it? Or ask you your know. friends and they will tell you. <laughs> yeah. Just try and process it as much as you can. Agreed. Um, have you guys ever had to take sides in a breakup? Um, I mean, I guess. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess I kind of had to take sides in yours, but not really because you were my side. Does that make sense? <laughs> and you're still friends with them anyway. Right. <laughs> so. But like I did have to take sides, but like it wasn't like a, oh, who should I pick? Like. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, you, know you guys I mean? you guys see him more than you see me. Nah. For a while. Before For a little bit there. Because you guys were I working honestly, together on stuff. I hate to be like this, but I never really take sides. And, like, this is why my friends talk to me about, like, all this. I see everything black and white. Like, I won't, like, I love my friends. And I feel, I think that's why my friends come to me for so much. Is because I will honestly tell you my honest opinion. I see everything black and white. And if you're in the wrong, I'm going to tell you that. Because if everyone's blindsiding you, you're just, you're not going to know what you're doing wrong. Yeah. yeah. So, like, and maybe that can help you in your next relationship. So, I, I specifically think about my two best friends who broke up right now. And one I'm going to be living with next year. And two I'm very close with. It's going to be hard, but I don't think I'm ever going to take a side in that. That's for them to figure out. And I'm here to hear both of their sides and just listen to them and just, you know, I feel like that's like what an honest friend should be doing in that place. Yeah. So you didn't take a side in my breakup? No, I actually didn't. No. In hers? I don't think I did. No. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. Okay. I'm just asking. No. <laughs> I was just curious. No, I, I really, I have a very You funny. guys are like hers? No, hers? Well, because you said it hers? like right after your thought. No, so no, I didn't no, know yeah. if you were still no, talking. No, I did not take a side in Emily's breakup. I don't think I did. I don't think you really needed to, though. I think yeah. I just really listened and let Elena do her guidance. Because <laughs> it wasn't wrong. That's, yeah. I mean, she's, she's not wrong. No. <laughs> yeah, I think if you're really close with both parties, then I think that's definitely the way to go. Just yeah. try and like be there and be as like Switzerland as you can. All right. And then on the flip side, have your friends ever had to take sides after your breakup? No. And apparently not. <laughs> well, something I thought about with the whole taking sides thing is the fact that like the acapella community is super incestuous and high school choir is super incestuous. <laughs> True. It's because we all hang out with each other all day yeah, long. So and who seeing else? people date and when you and like your high school more. boyfriend broke up. Yeah. It was all of us that were friends with you were like, Oh yeah, he sucks. <laughs> yeah, we didn't talk to him. Yeah. That's so well, he was sad. also younger. No, it yeah. was not. No, he, we were he's not still like friends. his main. No. He was, oh yeah. okay. But yeah, I just think about like our high school experiences and even our college experiences and being like, yeah, definitely took yeah. sides and, and yeah. saw all of that. Well, but I fair. was with my main ex. I was, I knew people felt really awkward about it about right. us breaking up. Yeah. And 
I something I told a lot of people was don't feel like you have to take sides. Like we don't hate each other. I yeah. just we're all friends with the same people. So it would be dumb for people to take sides. Yeah, that was a that was a very intertwined yeah. situation. Mm-hmm. Cuz we were we were both like older members of both of our groups and yeah. so all of these groups had come in and grown up essentially knowing us together and then yeah. we weren't together. Yeah. But yeah, that's all I have for this week. Wow. Sweet stuff. Yeah. That sounded so uninteresting. Sorry, that was that was just <laughs> my soccer dad coming out again. Sweet stuff. Sweet stuff. Yeah. Hate it. Okay. So for this week, uh basically I asked a bunch of my friends <laughs> their craziest breakup stories slash post breakup thoughts, actions, etc. Um, and then I sprinkled a few in there that I found on the internet. Ooh. Ooh. So basically we're going to rate them one to 10. What's like the craziest one. And I kind of also want you to see which ones are from the internet or like my friends. Yeah. Rank or rate? Um, we can rate them. Let's rate them. Yeah, I think that's em. easier. Okay. Rate them. Should we do like one through five then? I feel like one to ten is kind of okay. Yeah, one run right, through, let's five, do one through five, and you have to guess. You're changing which... our whole game, damn. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna restart. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> let's do it. All right. <clears throat> Caught my ex fucking my friend in a public restroom. Oh my god, that's got to be from the internet. My jaw just dropped. <laughs> that's that's a five. That's to me. Because it's not just fucking anybody, yeah, that's it's a, fucking that's your a, friend. That's a five. <laughs> that's a five. Um, Is that from the internet? I actually don't think that's from the internet. I'm going to go out on a limb here. <laughs> it's not. Yeah! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my, tell your friend I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's fine. You know. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Shit. Okay. That fucking sucks. Oh, I'm so glad I do this segment. <laughs> okay. Had the idea to fly to where their ex was spending the holidays with their family and propose to them after the breakup. Oh my god. That's a five in my book. That's like a solid five. A four. Because it wasn't the action. I'll give it a four. Okay, all right. If they had done it, it was a five, but because they didn't do it, it was a four. Correct. That's a four. That's definitely not the internet. And I'd, yeah, I'd say that's from your friend. Hooked up with both of my ex's best friends, and one of them ended up telling me they loved me. Dot dot oh. dot. No bueno. That's no a bueno. mood. That is. That's um, like a two. I, that's a th- yeah. <laughs> two and a half. I get yeah a two and a half because it's pretty average. Um, but the I love you is the one that kind of pushes it over. Bumps the top. it. I say that's your friend. It is. Yeah, <laughs> we love him. Love it. Um. <laughs> Kept up to date with their ex's Venmo transactions. <laughs> I've done also this. I'm guilty mood. as charged. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go as far as Venmo, but. No, I didn't either. Um, I'd say that's a one. Come on. It's not that. Yeah, it's not that crazy. <sighs> yeah, it's like a one. one. Maybe a one and a half. Okay. Received. <clears throat> please. <laughs> Received calls at 3 a.m. of my ex crying for two weeks. So I changed <sighs> my name on Instagram and Snapchat and blocked their number. Five. Oh, that's fucking a five no that's, that's a, a four f- two two weeks two weeks of calls at of them crying so much crying. that you have to change your name I can on have instagram my own opinion okay <laughs> we've disagreed if you on have to na- if okay if you have to change your instagram name i'd say it'd be a five if they came to your house and cried for two weeks fucking wild Okay, she thinks it's a four. I think it's I a can, five. I can have my own opinion. Um, my friend is going to love to hear these. So, so was, was that your, your friend? Friend, friend yep. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> your friends have some crazy shit going on. Well, it happened to on. them. So, I guess right. they had yes. to live and Your friend's that. not the crying ex. Your friend yeah. lived with the crying ex. That's Don't crazy. worry. My friend's not the crying ex. That's what's important here, kids. It's, okay. it's true. <laughs> Wrote, once a cheater, always a cheater, on gifts I had given him, and pictures as well as an ornament his mom had given us with our picture on it. I think that's a reasonable reaction. Um, but she sounds like a badass, and like I would give her <laughs> three and a half. Three and a half. Three point five. <laughs> three point five. Can I say who that was? Elena gets the three point five. <laughs> Elena gets the three point five because it's not crazy. Like 
No. Like I said, I encouraged her to break shit, and well, she didn't. He was gone, and I wanted him to come back to some lovely things that I. Had she left, left it in. dead center <laughs> so, on the on, the, on stove. the stove. So when he walked in, that's the first thing he saw. He got mad about the ornament too. So it was an ornament. He his, can kiss my fucking yeah. ass. So it was an ornament his mom had given us. His it mom was a you lovely two woman. on it. What else is he gonna do with right. it? Right. It was you the idiot. two of us on it, and it was like all cute. And so I wrote once a cheater. You know always what's a cheater. not cute? Cheating. He was like, he was like. You know, like, I understand the other stuff, but, like, uh, like the thing that my mom had given me, like, I just didn't think she deserved that. And I'm like, you know, it has nothing to do life. with your mother. And my mom doesn't deserve to have her daughter be cheated on. I was like, I'm pretty sure that if your mom knew what you had done, she She'd would write be fine with thing. it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, She'd be like, she done good. Right. Like, <laughs> shut up. Okay, go ahead. Stalked the shit out of their ex's LinkedIn. <laughs> we already <laughs> know who this is. Episode is charged. <laughs> Uh, that's a that's a four only because yeah. it goes above and beyond normal Why social is that media. a four but I venmo's a one because no, venmo is- so many people use venmo and not very many people actually you can legitimately out- use linkedin you I can scroll find out venmo juicy sometimes juicy, when I'm bored. juicy shant <laughs> juicy, shit? juicy shit from venmo <laughs> yeah exactly but like linkedin is like who Damn. does that okay well i get a four great <laughs> good job pat's back <laughs> i said a three Okay, 3.5. Got it. Great. Okay. Great. Okay. I was engaged and went away for the summer to work at a school in Central America. The whole time, I tried to call my fiancé, but we only connected a few times. On the day I returned, I had a layover in Houston on my way back to Portland. While sitting at my terminal, I was paged over the intercom to pick up the nearest white courtesy phone. So I went over to be connected, and it was my fiancé paging me at the airport to tell me he couldn't pick me up in Portland because he'd fallen in love with another woman. So that happened. <laughs> That's definitely from the internet, and that yeah. is a yeah. five. That is a five. That's fucking insane. I saw that, you and the I fucking airport courtesy an, phone can't pick you up, hun. I'm fucking another woman. That's no, insane. good day. Fallen in love, which means fuck he's you. Probably fucked her more than once. That's man. well, yeah, but crazy. I'm saying like cheating versus like, like I've, I'm I leaving s- you for another woman. I saw that, and. I'd be fucking pissed. Oh boy, I'd, I'd, like, bra- I'd write on a lot of ornaments. Holy yeah, moly. right. <laughs> Fiance, no, I'd trash his car. I was I'd be like, now you're not driving fucking anywhere. You're not picking anybody up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but you got to stab three of his tires because if you stab four, insurance will pay for it. If you stab three, insurance won't pay for it. Make that. And that's what we've learned pay. today here you on Babes and Bad Tips, decisions. baby. I did not know that. So stab three, not four. Not I'm four, talking everybody. tires. Three tires. I'm serious. Okay. Ripped up all the pictures of my ex and I, as well as all the handwritten letters and a couple of his shirts. Oops. Um, I know exactly who that is, so it's not your friend. Um, and I say that's like a two. It's pretty yeah, reasonable. That's pretty normal. I mean, I think I helped our friend in high school literally burn all of the things. Oh, that she yeah. Had. You know why I know that? <laughs> because you were the one ripping up these pictures. Yeah, because I was like, I know what to do. I've done this before. Yeah. No, because she's gonna got- be great. Our friend in high school got in a car accident and her boyfriend at the time told her that he couldn't come pick her up. That was not when they broke up, but uh um, no, yeah, that happened like, pretty soon before. That's some bullshit. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'd say that's a that's pretty standard. A three would be to set them on fire, a four would be to blow them up, and a five would be to blow them up in did front of him. Did we set them on fire though? That's what I couldn't remember. No. I think we just ripped them. Yeah, we just ripped okay, them. Okay, if y'all you did not want to burn And then them. you kept them in a box. <laughs> yeah. My ex broke up with me over text and then wouldn't see me when I went to his apartment to get all my things I had left there the night before. This bitch literally just left them in the lobby of his apartment complex. Wow, I wonder who this bitch is. You literally just said it was about you outed yourself. Kids. God, fucking pussy part two. Oh, it makes me so mad. I would say a a five for him being a motherfucking pussy. Yeah, literally. I I would say a four. Fucking come downstairs and give me my goddamn bags, you bitch. Like an adult. Yeah, Yeah. how old are you? Oh my God, still makes me so mad to this day. Anyway. Ridiculous. (laughs) Knew their ex's password and thought about logging into their Instagram and reading their DMs, but didn't in case they got back together. (laughs) that is me i'll just say it <laughs> i literally i didn't I probably would have done it i would have done it <laughs> no because i 100 percent would have done it because i figured we would probably get back we were talking about getting back together so right. i didn't want to have to admit that to him that i okay. had read his because yeah, yeah. his ex had done that okay 
So, I'm pretty sure I actually did do crazy. that one time and I got caught for doing it. And so it I'd say that's a two. Terrible. I mean, I did it multiple times, but every single time I did it, he had been. No, doing no, like one time okay, so. after our relationship, <laughs> like after we had broken up. Oh, yeah. I, did I could it probably one still time. do it. I don't think he's changed his password. All right, last one. <laughs> Broke up with my ex with a romantic poem. <clears throat> <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue, garbage is dumped, and so are you. Hey! <laughs> oh, shit. That was awesome. <laughs> was that from the internet? Yeah, that unfortunately was. But I think I might use that. That was good. Honestly. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for listening. You can find us on Instagram at Babes and Bad Decisions and on Twitter at B-A-B-D Podcast. Email us now at Babes and Bad Decisions at gmail.com. And you can also find all of our episodes and videos on our YouTube channel. Just search Babes and Bad Decisions Podcast. If you like us and want to support us, please take the time to rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. And you can now check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash Babes and Bad Decisions. All right, and what's our outro phrase for today? Breaking up multiple times with the same person. <laughs> it's a way more likely than you think. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. Uh, All right. I y'all. gotta go my own way. <laughs> Hasta la vista, baby. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye. Adios. Bye.